Introducing the brand new Carbon X. The Carbon X is meticulously crafted with an all carbon fiber body, rotor, and side plate, making it one of the lightest in its class, weighing in at a mere 7.8 ounces. The Carbon X features a lightning fast 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. The high speed retreat helps every angler battle the strong, fast runs of the biggest fish, ensuring that you land your next giant on tournament day. The new Carbon X is extremely smooth, boasting 10 plus 1 premium shielded stainless steel ball bearings. These bearings are critical for increased smooth operation, retrieval performance, and corrosion resistance. Guys, the Carbon X is loaded with incredible features, like our reinforced anti-corrosion stainless steel main shaft, our zinc alloy drive gear, the direct drive-in screw and aluminum handle, our hollow nest-shaped spool that causes light weight for the reel, and then also we've got a positive click drag, high-density EVA knob. Guys, these are features that are found in reels that are much higher price range, but we want you to be able to afford the best on the market. Hi, I'm Ben Joyce, Penn Brand Manager, here today to talk to you about an exciting new launch for us, the Pursuit 3. The Pursuit 3 is the third generation in the Pursuit line, and we've added some extra features to it to make it the best value in the Penn lineup. Before we take a look at all the new features, let's take a look at the sizes that we offer. We've added a new 2500 size, and we've kept the remaining sizes from our prior generation, which was a 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, and 8000. Overall, we've kept a lot of the same features from the previous generation. We have a corrosion resistant graphite body and rotor with a metal side plate to ensure the gears stay in precise alignment. We have a four plus one bearing system. We have two bearings on the main gear, two bearings on the pinion gear. We have a double anodized spool with line capacity rings. And some of the exciting new features we have are the HT100 carbon fiber drag washers, as well as the super line gasket. There he is. We're up back here in the back country catching a few sharks on the new Pursuit 3. We upgraded the drag material into HT100, so Penn's lowest price spinning reel now comes equipped with HT100 drag, and it's perfect for catching the big sharks. The HT100 carbon drag washers are a big upgrade from the oiled felt that we used in the past. We get asked a lot what HT100 stands for. The HT stands for high tech, and the 100 means that 100 miles of line can be run off without showing anywhere on these drag washers. The super line gasket, what this gasket allows you to do is tie braid directly onto the arbor of the spool so that you don't have line slipping on there. that is some serious drag peeling action. Today I want to show you why I love the new Cast King Megatron reel. We recently picked up the new Megatron spinning reel from Cast Kings. We wanted a very versatile, heavy duty reel, especially when it comes to bigger fish in fresher salt water, such as pike, bass, muskie, or in salt water when you're talking tuna, bonito, halibut, flounder, all sorts of big game fish. The first thing I noticed about this reel that I loved was that the main frame of the reel is actually made out of aerospace aluminum, which makes this a very rigid reel. It also has an aluminum handle, an aluminum spool, and a giant bail wire to make sure when you're fighting bigger fish or small fish, the body of this is not going to flex or break. Megatron also comes with a braid ready spool, which means that you can use mono line or braided line, but when you use braid, you need to have a special kind of spool so that under tension, the braid doesn't actually spin on the spool itself, and this spool will prevent that because it's braid ready. Depending on the size reel you get, you'll have up to 46 pounds of drag. Not only do these pack a ton of drag, but it's a triple disc carbon drag, which means a very smooth drag. When you're fighting a big fish or you're on light line, when the fish pulls or shakes its head, it's going to pull drag smooth, meaning you'll lose less fish. These reels come from 2,000 to 6,000 size, and the biggest size holds 300 yards of 80 pound braided line. That means you could take that offshore for really, really large game fish. To make sure that drag and everything's running smooth, this reel also comes with eight plus one bearings. What that means is eight double shielded stainless steel bearings inside the reel and one anti-reverse bearing. So when you're reeling in and you stop, that drag is set. You're not gonna have any backlash when you're cranking in. The number one reason why we love this new reel so much is because of its extreme versatility and how heavy duty this reel is. 
To put this reel to the ultimate test, I recently took the smaller 3000 size offshore fishing for a bonito and yellowtail. And if you don't know what a bonito is, it's a member of the tuna family and is a very, very hard fighting fish. We were able to land eight to 10 pound bonito, which is insane for this size reel. We also have used this inshore saltwater for halibut fishing and it handled that fantastic. And we also plan on doing lots of freshwater bass and pike and muskie fishing too. Hi, Mike Rice, Penn Brand Manager, here to talk to you about an exciting new spinning reel. Not, not exactly new, but a relaunch of the Battle 2. So the original Battle came out quite a few years ago, and we've now made some improvements to the reel I want to talk to you about. But let's start with the sizes. So we've got a 1,000, a 2,000, a new size of 2,500, a 3,000, a 4,000, a 5,000, 6,000, and our biggest size is the 8,000. So 1,000 to 8,000, so think light, light, light inshore or really even light freshwater all the way up to a near shore, offshore, think sailfish, think dolphin, that type of stuff. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the reel. First of all, on the sizing with the new 2500, uh, the reel is on the 2000 size body. It, also, it has a new rotor, so a bigger rotor and a bigger spool. So it filled a gap that we had between that 2000, 3000 size. So think really technical, lightweight graphite rods, think 10, 15 pound braid. Uh, there was a little bit of a gap in our spinning reel lineup for that technical inshore guy. And we've now filled it with a 2500 size. Really lightweight, balances out really nice on, on a nice graphite seven foot rod. Um, in addition to the new size, let's talk a little bit about the features that set this new battle apart. So we've added line capacity rings to the spool. Uh, that's something you've seen on all pen reels for the past few years. So it kind of helps the angler understand how much line they have left on the reel, uh, especially when fishing from a dead boat, big fish. How much line do I have left? Do we need to go? Can we stay? That type of conversation. Uh, you have a better idea uh, how much line you have left on the reel because of the line capacity rings. Uh, another thing we did is we keyed the drag washers into the spool. So by keying the drag washers into the spool, and I'm talking about HC100 drag washers, we're now able to use both sides of the drag washer. And I should mention that all pen drag systems now are greased. On these spinning reels, we use our pen blue lube, uh, which I'm sure you're familiar with. It's inside all our reels. We also grease our HC100 with that for our spinning reel drags. Um, back to the, uh, the keying of the drag washers. What that does, by, by using both sides of the drag washer, we're now able to get about 20% more drag than the previous battle. Not that a lot of people max out the drag, but it's always nice to know you have it if you have to stop a fish heading for cover or that's about to spool you. 
Uh, another big upgrade uh, in my mind is that we're going to sealed bearings in the battle. So in the past we've used stainless steel shielded ball bearings. That shield protects the race from basically saltwater intrusion. But the sealed ball bearings have an added layer of protection. I mean, it's actually a tight system that's, that prevents saltwater from getting into the bearing. The number one reason reels come back to the repair shop is because saltwater got into the bearing, uh, it dried out, it crystallized, and now the bearing sounds rough and the reel feels rough. Um, by having a sealed bearing, we're, we're able to avoid that situation a little longer than if we were using uh, shielded bearings. Not 100% sure, but the bearings are sealed from the manufacturer. Uh, so, so that's where that's where we are. We're sticking around the same uh, same retail. So basically, 99 to 129 on on the biggest size. Uh, the battle battle reel will be available at your retailer this fall, fall 2014. Check them out.